Hello and welcome to um well hold on a second uh let's uh, let's call us a series right away because I know I'm going to be playing a lot of this game and I know I want to do um uh, I do I, I want to do a series even though this this is not early access um but you know I I, I just really want to play this game so <laughs> We're gonna do it. Um, this isn't a let's try. I've already tried this game. I've, I tried it on um, My stream and I also uh, I think I already did a let's try at one point or another But either way, this is shadows of doubt. I've been looking forward to this game a lot since I played it in uh, the, the steam next fest um, We're gonna be jumping into a game. I'll probably do one series now when it's in early It's early state and then once when it hits 1.0 um, so if there are bugs and problems, no worries. Um, it's it's just how things go. Um, especially craft a case to introduce the game. We're gonna do the Dead of Night, even though I have done the Dead of Night. I've never actually solved the case, so I'd like to do that. Um, play in a pre-made or previously generated city. I kind of wouldn't mind doing this, and maybe we can do a generated city in the future. Um, so this is our city share code um you can i guess the benefit about this is that you can play along with me uh and and see what we do differently right um we're nicholas oats and uh you know non-binary sure game difficulty let's go for normal gameplay settings sandbox mode starting apartment we'll just keep things as is um let me just double check that do I need to invert the y-axis probably not from here so let's go ahead and uh, hit ok there's gonna be a long loading here so I'm gonna go ahead and do a pause because it's it's gonna take a while all right so I am gonna enable the tutorial this tutorial just kind of like gives you a nice little um, a little bit of guidance in the beginning it, it is the late 20th century Oof, got some we got some nice frame hangs Hyper-industrialization has swept the planet. Mm, frame hang-ups have swept the planet. The old Bourbon Empire has crumbled, giving way to the United Atlantic States and the first elected mega-corporation president in history, Starch Cola. As sea levels rise, cities have become polluted islands. Got some really nasty frames right now, but how much we can do about that. Workers dream of escaping to the fields. An exclusive retirement district few will ever see. I don't remember this intro before. Rival corporations vie for power, policed by the privatized starch cola enforcers. Some say justice now only exists in the shadows. Shadows of doubt. Um, you know, it's not a it's not a cyberpunk dystopian if it isn't night all the time and also raining all the time. The dead of night. So, uh, if you're not sure what kind of game this is, I I this, I guess I wouldn't blame you. Although, I I have shown it off before and. I think it's been making pretty good press, so um, I was just going to not audio. I don't know why I went to that. Um, I want to turn down the sensitivity slightly, but that's fine. Um, this is a... Did the game just crash? No. Okay. This is an immersive sim um, in its truest sense. Uh, it's very, very sandbox. It's a very, very... Um, immersive <laughs> I'm sorry but uh, it is like um, I, there, there's almost barely a campaign in this game uh, but one could definitely describe it as a detective simulator and I've been uh, I, I really like it I'm not even a huge detective buff but the way that this game kind of like um, I don't know packages a detective is really interesting to me. It's really, really compelling, um, and it makes for some really interesting uh, moments of uh, of like genuine, genuine like 
Um, I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to think of the word, but like drama. Drama, not in the in the sense that it's like scripted drama of like, oh, this thing happened and it happened in this way. But like, as you're trying to navigate the world and as you're trying to figure out, you know, who killed who and who is, you know, this there's a serial killer out here. Um, there will be actual like moments like I, I've, I've actually gotten chills while playing this game because it's like, well, I didn't like. I definitely got an impression of how things are going, but I didn't realize that the, the, it was going to go this way. And everyone is kind of like simulated, you know, like everyone's got a job. All the, like this is a city full of people and they've all got a job. They've all got paths that they take, you know, um, walking paths, habits, schedules, personalities. Hello, who is this? the apartment for clues so you can see here here's a directory of everyone that lives in this city these are all people um we can kind of look at our uh like here's a you know we can we can look at a map how did i pull that up uh i can't remember how to pull that up i thought it was tab but it might be that they're not letting me do that yet um, we can see a we can see a blueprint of our apartment. Every when I like walk by this, it looks like it's shimmering, like different colors, which is kind of nice. There's a note under the front door. What does it say? When you inspect an item, it brings up as evidence window. This can be pinned to your case board for future reference using the pin at the top. Pinned items are displayed as icons that you can move around on the board by dragging their pin. So, um, you know, this is, I think, one of the, I don't know, um, crowning gimmicks of this game is like how you sort of come to conclusions and how you organize your, your case. Um, we can get rid of that now. Select the name Oni Johnson and pin him pin the note oh it's f it's the f key that seems this seems really big i guess we don't need to make it big we can have it like this so uh all we know is of a person named oni johnson find oni johnson we've been given a note and uh so we have a task right now right i know it's maybe silly to underline these things but I like how things develop in this game. If this is a job, it's a way lazy, sorry, lousy way of doing business. We got soap. Uh, I actually am going to take that soap because um, you can get dirty in this game, and uh, it makes you smell, and then people can smell you, and it makes doing detective work very difficult. Fizz dish detergent. What is this? F Pawa. Former Police Officers Welfare Association. We're here for you. Free basic housing for those in need. For more information, contact Beth Gallagher. Please note, we can no longer help with money or social credit claims. Salt. For when you've failed your detective duties. It's locked. Okay. Okay. So what are we going to do? We're going to look in the city directory. And like I say, I, I like this tutorial. It's a good way to just kind of like get your your uh, your detective legs, you know. So we're looking for Oni Johnson. Let's go uh, to the J's. And there is an O Johnson there with Umblat. And now we have a, um, a... Whoops. We've got their apartment building. So we can go ahead and, uh, you know, put these next to each other and we can also pin them uh not sorry not pin them um create a string like this and then we can just you know lives in or i guess lives at i have my caps lock on hold on a second lives at we can i don't know white is white will be our fact it doesn't mean anything it's just a uh you know point of information 
So we can see um, lives at this building. Let's have a quick look at this. Type apartment, location rose building, blueprint, yes. So we have a blueprint for that place. And we can see the connection we made, lives at. We can make another connection later. But anyway, that's that's that. Whatever it is, I'd better go prepared. That means he needs to get, or they, sorry, needs to get their uh, detective business. Padlock. Um, we do have some lockpicks that I've found around the, um, the apartment. Lockpicking is an interesting business. Keep a lookout for paper clips and hairpins. These can be useful for picking locks. Each lock has its own strength. I don't need you don't need me to explain it. The tutorial does it just fine. But yeah, um, you can also use lockpicks to sabotage security systems. Did we 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 did open it? So there's our detective stuff. Access your inventory using X. This opens a menu displaying your current uh, inventory and status. The top group of items do not take up inventory space. These are for your vital tools of the trade. The lower section features slots that can uh, store other world items. You can drop or scan picked up items for fingerprints once an item is selected. You can drop or scan picked up items for fingerprints once... Okay. You can assign hotkeys to inventory spaces by hovering over them and pressing your desired key. You can also view information about current status effects and how to get rid of them in the inventory screen. That's actually good info. We'll have a look in here. Anything in here? Tenancy agreement. Well, that's not really of any uh, any help for us. It's not relevant to anything. It's locked. We still don't have uh, a way of getting in there. Wonder. I, I see. I have a computer. Um, wonder if I have a password. Crunchers are digital personal computer devices. They're common in most apartments and white collar workplaces. Select user. I don't seem to have my password. You'd think that I would have my own password. But I don't remember uh, having a computer in. Uh, in my apartment when I started last time. Open the case board and with F and select the pinned uh, 802 Rose building. Plot a route. So now uh, you can plot, we, we've plotted a route to get to our, our task, which is finding out Oni Johnson. We'll just follow the, uh, oh, it's locked. Unlock. I love the atmosphere in this game. Is that is that a battery? We'll take a battery. These uh these buildings are really interesting to me. But yeah, like you can see, you know, um nothing here is scripted. I mean it is in a in a you know, it's very strictest definition, I suppose, but like uh, everyone has a like kind of um a behavior rather it's it's i guess it's more like um rain world in the sense that like creatures people don't have um like something they have to do they just have things they want to do you know they have a pattern um rather than like a linear set of things that they do all right middle mouse button for flashlight rude all right let's uh head on to rose building eighth floor landing the arrow is actually very oh hello what's the world coming to did you have something to say evening what's your name sorry that's personal yeah, people don't tend to like to give you their name for good reason. It's a very powerful thing in this game. So here's our rose building. The arrows, as I was saying, is a uh, very good at actually directing you. It, it seems to be very intelligent. Like, 
if you're like for instance if if your goal is on a separate floor it'll direct you to the stairs as opposed to just like pointing upwards i've uh i've i've seen some bad arrows in my day you know so it's on the eighth floor we're gonna use the elevator the elevator is faster Very good. Uh, to know if a door is locked or not, you'll first have to try and open it. Locked doors can be unlocked by focusing on the door handle. It's locked. Shucks. But, um, I, spoilers, I already know what's what the deal is here. You can move the mat and find the key. And oh my god. And mustard sickness account for it. That's what you find yourself somewhere you shouldn't be, you'll gain a trespassing status. If it appears an orange, citizens with authority will ask you to leave immediately. If it's red, they will attack. So just as you may want to be careful about entering, it's often a good idea to identify means to help you make a safe escape. Keep an eye out for air ducts and you can escape too in a hurry. As well as hiding places like under beds. Um, so that's foreshadowing, by the way. There's no doubt in that shadow. That's that's good, right? It's good. Take print. So we're taking print of this cadaver, unknown citizen. Inspect. Well, this could be anyone. We have no idea what they, who they could possibly be, right? Um, so we should do as they say, as the tutorial is guiding. Identify the body by finding a photo ID. Find a time of death by analyzing the cadaver. We can do this with our print scanner. Oh, we already, I guess we already did that. Maybe? No, I Inspect don't cadaver. Nope. Take print. I think I we already did this. No law for you. You're just a Search, analyze. There we go. A, down here. Like a bullet wound that from that low caliber ammunition, words. 8 millimeter or 932. From examining the body, it appears that the victim has been shot to death with a pistol or revolver. I can determine the time of death is between uh, 23.45 and 1, Tuesday, January 3rd, 1979. And this is going to give us much the same information. Okay. Get our flashlight on. So here's some uh, useful stuff. Oni Johnson wallet. We found them. We can take the money and the key. Uh, and you can see we're, we're starting to build a case here. Um, so that it was, now that we've identified um, or gotten that piece of identification, I'll be right back. All right. Sorry. Sorry about that. Um, but we... So we, we've got an identification on this Oni Johnson, and they are dead, and that sucks for them. But uh, hopefully we'll find out more about what happened here, and um, that will lead us to their the person who killed them, maybe. Uh, on Oni Johnson work, Rhoda, office manager. Work, Rhoda, office manager, 9 to 17, Monday, Friday. Um, all right, so this is good to know They work uh, Between those hours and we have their work ID as well They work at Goldburn Technologies So this is also information. This is all very good information. This is all to do with Oni Johnson We've got a, a pretty good profile um, Not quite all of the information That is like very relevant to um, another work ID. It's the same one. 
They, uh, they seem to have put a few of those around just to make sure that we see it. Look around for vents of a potential quick exit. Yeah, we have to do that. Starch candy. Um, so we've got some vents here. We can check this out real quick. I want to open these to make sure they are more accessible. Each citizen in the city has a unique fingerprint. You can scan for them using the fingerprint scanner device in your inventory. Point the scanner where you want to scan. Almost all surfaces contain fingerprints. Unknown fingerprints will be found in sets, with set A being the first you find. Any matching prints will also be labeled to that corresponding set. If you find set A at an apartment and subsequently at a bar, you can prove a citizen was in both locations at some point. Use right mouse button to inspect fingerprints after you found them. To pin them to your case board, fingerprints may disappear over time. But anyway, that's not really relevant right now. I mean, it is, but uh, we want to make sure we uh, make that vent accessible. And we want to pull out our scanner. We also want to check out some of this stuff. So we have a fingerprint there. Type B. So that's not our first fingerprint. Because our first fingerprint was in fact Oni Johnson, right? Um, I'm pretty sure that is correct. So that might be our perpetrator. What is this? So that's Oni Johnson. That is, that is in fact type A. So we've got type A, Oni Johnson. Select your print scanner. Um, scan for prints. So let's, let's have a look around. Oh, we have a fingerprint. That's Oni Johnson. Makes sense. They sat on their couch. Yeah, that's him. We've got a fingerprint on some uh, matches. More Oni Johnson. Light switch. Oni Johnson. But I mean, uh, here's the thing, right? We have an open safe. Oni Johnson. Oni Johnson. Type B. Type B. So uh, it's it's pretty clear that whoever it is, whoever it was that came in and killed Oni Johnson, also um, robbed them, right? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take that vial, and I'm also gonna take that code breaker. But my inventory is full. We're gonna have to drop something. Um, I'm cool to drop this battery. Uh, drop. The code breaker is infinitely more useful than the battery. I actually am not even sure if the code breaker, or sorry, the battery is useful in any sense. We've got more fingerprints, more Oni Johnson fingerprints. I mean, we have like, we get like diminishing returns on some of this for sure. We've got a crumpled paper. Receipt for tax records, Jade King Lounge, Gemstetter, times five. Not paid. Added to tab. Call me. V. Okay, so we've got um, some something else. And, uh, you know, good idea to, to maybe start, start something new here. We can always eliminate some of this later. You know, uh, it's it's only relevant until it's not, right? We we want to gather as much information as possible, and then eliminate the stuff that is not relevant anymore. Inspect for fingerprints. I think we're good on fingerprints. Um, it's worth checking out the address book. It may be useful to pin this. So this is an address book, um, which is unique to Oni Johnson. These are people that are relevant to uh, to Oni Johnson. Now, here's the thing, right? Let's have a look at this. Anyone with a... So we've got a Violet. So that could be our V, right? Violet. 
Um, let's let's put this over here and then um, I'll go ahead and connect these two just to let me know that this is where I got that information and then connect these two but I'm not sure that this is the this is the case so I'm gonna make it yellow and it could be that person so I mean V violet you know the, the, the uh, they're both relevant to Oni Johnson could be the person we're looking for we have an advertisement tired of nothing in the v-mail but bills dove sign up for, to dove today and find that special someone so uh oni johnson was looking for a friend Opening soon. um who are we dialing Contact your local right to find out we more. would like to find out the next the last number that was called so first of all, we can identify this number. So that is the inf that is the number of this apartment. So that's good to know. And now we want to find out the last number that was called on this phone. Last caller was five one five three four nine nine. Telephone call from 515-3499 to, uh, at, it was at 2318 Monday. So, uh, we can compare this, actually. This was at 2318, and their time of death was between 2345 and 1 on Monday. Right? You see here, 2318... So hungry, we don't waste a thing. Not uh, I'm trying to, yeah, okay, 23:45 and 23:18. So I mean, around the time that this phone call was made was around when they died, potentially. You know, we don't get, we don't have a very accurate sense of when they died, just like a, a kind of a range. Um, is there anything else we can call here? Better to use the print scanner to scan for prints on anything the prep might have touched. Scan for prints, I think. I thought I uh, did that, but... Sure. Confirmed. Oh. And oh, this is type A. We already got that. We want type B. I didn't actually make a note of type B. Type B. Okay, so we want to put this type B somewhere. We don't know who this is, but um, we can we can make our own note. Hold on a second. Context menu. Um, maybe we can't. I, I wanted to like create my. Oh, there we go. It's up here. New sticky note. Um, our killer. Bon voyage. Bon voyage. Uh, I'll just make it a basic link. And it's yellow, and that means we're uncertain, and that's actually good. Sometimes it's useful to search the trash. Now, unfortunately, I've done this a number of times because I was playing the demo quite a lot. Uh, so I know what comes up uh, uh, comes after this We've got a um, Receipt from indigo hair kitchen Not being seen is your best chance for survival the central cursor displays the information you need to stay hidden Dot in the very middle of the screen displays how hidden you are so a hollow circle means you are completely obscured Well, you might be wondering why are, why are they telling me this just now you can punch people you can fight them the, uh, the voxel fists are, are funny to me. But anyway, the reason they're telling us this is, um... Are these both the same? Receipt for Dragon Burger. They're not the same. Square paper napkin that has been used and crumpled into a ball. Can we... I don't know. I don't think that's really relevant. An empty cr uh, can of popular soft drink starch cola. Discarded packet of deep fried potato bat batons. This is the trash. They we're about to be discovered, potentially. Silent alarm has been tripped. Enforcers. You don't get it, do you, Duchess? You think your pal Lenny's gonna come 
Uh, whoops. It'll take me down. Okay, so we want to... We could hide, but um, be I think better to just... Whoops, that's not what we want. To escape. You can travel through the building via the ventilation duct. Simply open the grate and select the action to climb through. So at this point, what we can do is I think we... Do we have a map? Notebook, toggle map. We do have a map of our of the building we're in. We can keep that open for now. That comes uh, that becomes very relevant because we are going to be going through quite a lot of vents, and the vents are very confusing, and they're deliberately so in this game. Um, generally speaking, what happens when you go into a vent is you end up in someone else's apartment. <laughs> Oh my god. I've never opened a vent and found myself with a shotgun. We could take that shotgun. Yua Morita purse. What is this? Oh, this is the purse of the person that we're in. May as well take a couple things. Uh, do we want to take that shotgun? <laughs> Seems like a dangerous thing to have. Inventory full. Does that mean we don't have the, the, the key that we just picked up? I figured the key would uh, be free. Yeah, we. I think we have the key. May as well, uh, find out about this person. I think they're not at home. Ooh, they are definitely at home. The fact that they didn't see me just now is kind of pure luck. I find myself getting lost um, in these uh, apartments quite a lot. But anyway, we found our way out. Easy enough. Usually it's not that easy. Usually I have to lockpick um, the door <laughs> to get out, which can be kind of a nightmare. Good evening. Good evening to you. Let me go ahead and uh, leave. And I think that'll do it for our first episode. I know that's not a lot. Um, we found out that someone died. And we've got the blueprint, uh, sorry, blueprints, the fingerprints of the potential killer. By the way, watch, uh, watch our fee in the left, top left corner. That's how much money we owe right now. And then it's just gone. Why don't we go ahead and wrap things up by going to the city hall and getting ourselves a uh, murder case resolution form. And also, while we're at it, because um, I've never done this before, we got a genetics thing. Hold on. Installed disks. Available disks. Zero. Available upgrades. This is something I haven't gotten anything. Find a sync clinic to install. Uninstall or up upgrade sync disks. I would like to um, do this. So we haven't, we, we can't do this yet, I guess, but we have a, an up, a genetics like upgrade thing and you can get like cybernetics and upgrades and stuff, um, which is cool. I would like to be able to find that, but um, we are kind of on a timeline. Money, I thought it said something else. <laughs> um, so we're gonna go in here, we're gonna take a form. Collected the dead of night. Take that hairpin. Search candy. Hello, unknown citizen. How are you? Oh, cool. They, they uh. Oh, there's another hairpin. They've got one of those lucky cat things. I, I have to say, I appreciate that attention to detail. Lipstick. 
just wondering, any extra lock picks would go a long way. View your case objectives by using the resolve button, top right screen, uh, part of the case board. What is the full name of the killer? Arrest the killer, optional. Do you have evidence that places the killer at a crime scene? Optional. Where does the killer live? Have you located the murder weapon? Please resolve, what is the full name of the killer? Reward a thousand credits. So like I say, this is a, this is a um, detective simulator. I think I, I would use the word simulator in its truest form. The um, simulator games have very much changed over the years. And I think what they mean now is something different from what they meant before. When I say simulator, what I really mean is um, it has the kind of slow form progression of a simulator. Like you uh, are, are going to be doing kind of grunt work. And, you know, in this game, grunt work is very interesting. Um, but, you know, I, I, I guess I mean the progression is similar in that you are going to be getting tools and upgrades and... Uh, and seeing like slightly more um, taking shortcuts once once you've got your your sea legs you know for for solving cases um but also it's just like the way you go about things in this game at first is going to seem labor intensive and then later is going to become a little bit easier uh, but i really like this game and i hope that you'll um you're, you're on board for a full series we'll see where this goes if you enjoy if you enjoyed this and you want to support the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.